welcome to the wood mill. This is where every single component of the famous Morgan ash frame begins. Each one is marked out from a template and roughly cut out before a more accurate finish is achieved on the spindle moulder. The joints and trenches are then routed out. So the finished components come out of the mill and are put onto this rack, ready for sub-assembly in the detail area. So here we can see Nick gluing up some of the door components. He then places it in the jig, lets it set, and removes any residual glue from the joints. Well, I'll just pick up the pre-assembled components off the shelf, take them round to the bandsaw, put them off the excess, put them in, go in my voice and clean it all up. We do this process for the whole frame. When it's finished, it gets sent out to the dipping shed. Okay, here we are in the chassis shop. This is where we build the actual aero-based products. The guys here are actually building up the structure, so we've got powertrain, suspension, wiring looms, uh, fuel tank, etc. Once that's built up, it'll get dropped onto the ground uh, and been sent off for testing. Okay, so this is um, the chassis shop where we build a traditional car. Um, this design's not changed since the 1930s. It's a, a ladder frame design. Again, this is where we build up the actual suspension units, drivetrain, bulkhead, gearbox, etc. Once that's built, it'll get dropped onto the floor and, and get pushed down to the next shop where it'll go to body mounts. And uh, here we are in the sheet metal department. This is how the bodies come to us from the wood shop. Bare wood. We then panel that all in aluminium with different panels. Some of them are pre-cut. Some of them we have to put our own patterns on to mark round and form. So we get our clamped on, and then we use a hammer to knock the edges over on the body, making sure everything's nice and tight. We take the panel off, where it's trimmed to suit, and then we block and hammer it up to make sure the edges are nice and neat. We paint the panel, this is to protect it from rust. We're using a DA and a file, we make sure all the panel is nice and smooth and tidy. On some of the panels, we roll an edge over. This is so that we can wire the panel for extra strength. Once the body's been completely panelled, we push it into the next department, so that when the, chassis, when the rolling chassis has been pushed into the shop, uh, each guy can choose which correct body goes on which correct chassis. Sealant's put along the top of the chassis so that when the body goes on there, everything's completely sealed. The wings are fitted, the cowl fitted, everything's checked over. And this is where the wiring looms fitted, the gearbox covers and all other small details. The bonnet is then rolled and made to suit each car. Once that bonnet's finished, the car goes to the end of the workshop where it's pushed down into the paint shop. This is the, um, the bare aluminium and chassis from the assembly shop, which comes into our first stage, which we uh, inspect for dents and imperfections in the panels here. So if there's any problems, it goes back up to the assembly shop. We place the car on dollies uh, just to make it more accessible to move around the shop. And then from here it goes to the second stage. It's all sanded down to a 180 finish and then filled in any areas that need to be filled. And then it's taken from the second stage to the third stage, which is the primer stage. All the little bits of the imperfections are um, sanded out to a smooth, uh, ready, paintable finish. This is stage two of paint. This is where all the panels were put on the racks and the car masked off, ready for degreasing. Once we've done that, we will then mix the paint. 
The great thing about Morgans is we have 40,000 different colours to pick from. And we can even match any colour possible. When the car's finished in the paint shop, it gets pushed into stage one of the trim shop. At this stage, the leather and carpets specified by the customers are prepared, sewn up and fitted into the car before it moves on to bride work. At this stage, the windscreens are fitted, uh, the side screens and all the other small fixings ready for the car to move on to have the weather equipment fitted. The hood materials are marked out and cut ready for machining. Our machinists then sew the hoods together, ready to be marked out on the car. Every hood frame is manufactured on site in our machine shop, and every hood is fitted individually and tailored to each car. The seats, which are again trimmed on site, get fitted into the car before the car moves on to final finish on the other side of the workshop. In final finish, the cars are fully assembled to their completed state, ready for their road test. Right now, after final finish, uh, we get in the car and take out for test drive check all the instruments are working, check if there's any rattles, check the gauges and check in all the switches. Having a drive round like this with a top down is brilliant. It's one of the perks of the job. This is PDI, uh, pre-delivery inspection. After all cars are road tested, they will all come into this department. Um, they'll be all checked over. Any imperfections in the paintwork will be polished out. Any scratches, any marks. The lads will polish the complete car all over. Then once they've completely finished, they're happy of all the work. It will go along to Phil. Phil will also check the paintwork. Then he will clean all the interior, the leather, uh, windows, check all the spec to make sure it's what the customer ordered. Three weeks after the car has started production, it's finally ready to be handed over. The customer can then join the Morgan community and start their adventure.